religious beliefs are based on the New Testament, okay. on Christ's teaching. Okay. I mean, we do we go with the Old Testament as well, but when Christ died, He rose again, mm -hmm. and that's what we base our, I our religion is based on that. And our culture, we believe in a plain and simple lifestyle, mm -hmm. which makes it easier for us to abide by Christ's teaching. Okay. And not to be so. So, for example, for not example, not to be so wrapped up in, in the rat race. Yes, exactly. I see. So you have your own communities? We we just live mixed within everybody else. Ah, uh, you just live in normal cities? Yes, normal normal countries and mm -hmm. we don't really live... Most of us are within um, like countries, but not real big cities, but mm -hmm. yeah, there's little towns uh, spread mm -hmm. out in all. So, and the clothing, you always wear these beautiful clothings? We do. We usually, yeah. Nice colors. And we... We base that also, we base it upon simplicity and modesty, covering, mm -hmm. like covering ourselves. Mm -hmm. The head covering signi uh, signifies Sign that we're under a headship of Christ. Under what? Uh, the headship. Okay. Or like an order of Christ. I see. Um, so are you nuns? No, we are not nuns. Okay. We are. Well, we're sisters in Christ, but not nuns. So I see. You not, marry? Yes. One husband or multiple? One. One husband. <laughs> what about multiple wives? No. No. Never. <laughs> we, we, that we base on Christ's teaching as well. Oh, do you drink coffee? Well. We drink coffee. We... we you smoke cheese, weed. <laughs> but we don't, we don't believe in, in smoking. We pull, we pull weeds, we don't smoke it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, weed makes you crazy. It's a medicine yeah. anyway, but... So, yeah, we, I mean, as far as... The normal food we eat, the normal Are you vegetarian? Food. No. No. We eat meat. You we kill your own animals? Yes. A lot really? of them. Have you killed them. yourself? I have not. So you don't look like the kind of person who could just like pull the knife on a poor cow or something. What about I you guys? <laughs> have you have you ladies uh, killed the animal by your own hands? I don't think so. No. My dad, it's like a difference in different families. Like some families butcher and some don't. Like my dad was never, he just wasn't the butcher, you know. I see. Because if you so ba effectively, then what you're doing is that you're commissioning somebody else to go kill that poor thing, and with all the misery and pain and the blood and the crying in the behind the scenes, you know what I mean? It's not just you. I'm not picking on you, but every most most people are like are that. You yeah, I don't need meat, and one of the reasons is moral reasons because I can't. I, I'm not so cruel to kill an animal myself, so I don't want to commission somebody else to go do it behind the scenes and put a happy face of McDonald's or whatever. I don't like to make animals suffer. Yeah, but when you're eating meat, you're contributing, unfortunately. It's possible, I mean, we're killers anyway. We have to kill fruits and vegetables and everything. But the idea is to eat, uh, to kill less, you know. But anyway, I'm not here preaching to you. You should be preaching to me. You got the right outfit. It's, it's interesting. It's just different and it's interesting. We believe that um, the food that God gives us, gives us is to be used for His glory, not just to eat and eat and eat as a glutton or to overeat in that aspect. Right. But, yeah. So and how many people? Mm -hmm. And the vegetables as well. We, we grow our own vegetables for the most part and have our gardens. And Do you have jobs, like we normal, have jobs, jobs normal jobs in the right? society? Yes. We but have so constructions, you can... we, there's construction, there's, you name it, there's So you there. would get normal job in normal places or within your own communities? Yeah, we, yes, we, we do mix in with Okay, so but that means you're up to being in a rat race, right? Like if you get a job... <laughs> we don't go to college or high school, actually. So no, I know, but when you get a job... Jobs you get. Oh, I see. So you get simple jobs, basically. Right. As far as like plumbing, construction. Okay, why don't you go to college? Is there something against it in your beliefs? Well, there's a lot of things that go with, with and it's not wrong. Learning mm -hmm. isn't wrong and is. Mm -hmm. We just believe that we go to eighth grade, mm -hmm. which would be 13, 14, okay. something around, like that. And we believe that that gives us enough teaching that yeah. we can live a wholesome life yes and that we can make a, a decent income and supply for right, our family right i understand and we try like especially if the learning if, if we focus so much on learning we're more apt to uh, not appreciate the family right. and neglect the family mm -hmm. but it can happen even without 
you know, without... Well, you can also, my mother says, you can load a donkey with lots of books. You can have a PhD and not have basic common sense. Yes. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it brings wisdom. Exactly. But nevertheless, education is good in itself, I think. Um, so you covered jobs, marriage. Uh, what else? What else distinguishes you? Because you, when you make an, when you make outfits like this, you're actually making a statement to the society, right? You're saying that we are different than you. We are part of another group. Um, so if somebody like me walks by and say, "Hey, you're making a statement. Tell me more about it." So what? What else would you say? I would say the basic of it, it comes from our beliefs in Christ, in His teachings, in His, um, all the things that He would like for us to do. She has a cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the camera, I think. Uh, what? Yes, I think she had a camera. A camera? Yeah. But it was ringing. No, it was her cell phone. Was it? Yeah. She has a she cell phone. She has a little cheap phone. You guys use computers? Uh, not in our church, no. There's a difference in churches too, you know, some allow certain things and then okay. some don't. It's not all Amish. So I see. Well, it sounds interesting. I will read about it. We and also yeah. do have our horse, our own horse. Our means of transportation is horse and buggy. Horse and? A buggy or carriage uh -huh. or something Wow, that that's line. wonderful. That's really so. cool. So Love nothing, horses. Nothing wrong with car. We're not saying that. So car you don't own cars. I don't own no. a car either. No, I don't have a horse either. Wrong. It's not, we're not saying it's a no, I understand. To own a car. I understand. It's just you just don't want, to, don't want to contribute to that movement. Yeah. Right, right. That's right. I guess we would go back more to. I'm not sure what year, but back the Russian Mennonites way back many years ago. So who who made your who started this uh, movement? The Anabaptist movement was started by way back in Zurich was. Felix Manns. By in Zurich. Zurich. Felix wow. Mann, uh, Conrad Greville, and George Blaura. Okay. They stepped out from the Catholic Church. I see. How long ago was this? Do you remember? I do not. That That's was okay. back it can in be the 1600s. Up. It was way back. How many people in your culture? In our culture, there are, I don't know. Take a guess. Thousands. Thousands. And in Ohio? In Ohio, I'm guessing maybe. Is it mostly around Berlin, Ohio? There's a, no, they are scattered around. There's a huge community in Berlin called Holmes County, Ohio. That's where a big group of them are, um, a big part of them. But then there's a lot of little communities spread mm -hmm. out. What about politically? Republican, Democrat, we do Independent? Not, we are separate from you don't that. participate? We do not, no. We believe that church and states should be separate. That's a and great idea. And that also idea. is based back in the Anabaptist teaching. Makes when sense. They when they stepped out from the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. they wanted to have their their own um, have church and state separate. Right. Yeah. What about you? Do you have a message for the world? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Carolyn. Carolyn. How old are you, Carolyn? Uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Really? You look much younger. I know. But that's good. <laughs> that means you're taking Thanks good care of yourself. <laughs> are you married? Uh, no. Boyfriend? No. <laughs> Sorry to be intrusive. <laughs> anyway, have you heard of that song? It goes, I went back to Ohio. You know that one? I do not know that one. So my city was gone. Oh, oh, what a way to go higher. It's I by the pretender. I hear you. My ears are so... Yeah, I'm seeing you very softly. I have a head cold. I think that's what does it. Ah. So where are you going today? Home. Flying home from where? From here, we're going to Columbus. No, I mean, where are you coming from? Oh, oh, you're just, you came to D.C.? We were in Tijuana, we were fixing teeth, and then we were, Rachel does mission work. I so, see. So, uh, she's flying home for her brother's wedding. And I see. We just decided we'd go accompany her and you know, spend some time with her at the home where she works. Sounds good. Okay, I better go catch my flight. Any sure. other last words for the world? Um, I would just say stick to Christ, and He will Oops. return one day and we need to be prepared to meet him. It just told me to change my battery, but um, you know, many, many, many belief systems have this idea that their savior will come back one day, and they all think that their way is the only way and the right belief. It's kind of interesting when you dig deep. 
how similar we are as humans in our in in the different belief systems. Mm -hmm. But so who knows? Yeah, he I know it. Well, we're not saying that our culture is not the only way. Being right. Amish is not the only way. The only thing that will stand is Christ and His teachings and His. Do you think anybody who's not a Christian will go to hell? Yes, I do. You do think so? Yes, I do. do you realize what the gravity of that statement? I know. Not the judge. Right. We're not judging who judge. is Christian. But, and who but is that's not. your but that's your belief, though. You think Jesus is the only way and. Yes, but Jesus you see, no and, but the problem is that everybody else who believes in other things, they also believe, some of them, not all of them, more open-minded. I have friends who are Christians and they don't think this way. They think that there is also, you know, other people have their own ways and that's respectable and they're not necessarily going to hell. But it's just this divisive thinking that causes these kinds of beliefs with self at the center of it. But anyway, that's a long story. It is. But yes, I do believe Christ is the only way. He was here. He came as a Messiah. He died for sins. He rose for... And now he's in heaven. And so if we have our sins under his blood, we are true. Uh, so some, some person who was born in Africa, who has never heard of Christ, that and he lives a peaceful life, you think he's going to go to hell? That is not for me to say, because I am not the judge. But earlier you said yes, if he's not a Christian and if, he's well, but, if Christ, but Christ is not his wife. But God decides who is a Christian and who is not, if you know what I mean. So as somebody who is who is a Muslim, for example, you're saying that God might decide that he's a Christian. I am saying that if, <laughs> if, the Muslim, if the Muslim believes that he can get to heaven any other way than through Christ, no, he will not get there. If the but they do. Muslims think that, and so do you know Hindus think that their way is the only way. And if the person in Africa believes that Christ is the only way that he can get to heaven, he'll be there. If he thinks that. And, and he, what if he's never heard of Christ? Then I don't. Then that then is. Then that's for up Christ. to judge, right? That's, that's up oh, to God. God. Isn't there a verse in the Bible that says that every name under heaven will at one time hear about Christ or something? Like that? Well, I, I mean, Christ is very famous, so. I think most people in their lifetime will hear about him, but um, whether they will consider it as their only way, you know, as their savior, that's questionable. I think, yeah, many people don't. So I think a more open-minded idea that, yeah, and that comes from learning about other beliefs. That's what happened to me. When you learn about other, other belief systems, you will see that how similar they are to yours. And so the whole thing takes a different, you know, color. Anyway, enjoy talking with you.